I will see to it. I guess we can infer that this is an elevator, but and Antanas has some magical propensities, so sure why not. But uh, you can see in the distance there's the the mountain range that we saw at the beginning of the game. Uh, well, that's a deer, if you didn't know, but we'll find that out in relatively short order anyway. How did it go? We won't be seeing any more lords. Excellent. Antanas is safe. Our job is done. I want to speak to him now. Not yet. There's more work to do. We will meet you in the planetarium downstairs. Why can't we speak now? Antanas will reveal his plan to you in the planetarium. He can only explain it to you there. We'll meet you downstairs when it's safe. Don't waste time, Harkins. Get to the planetarium immediately. We will meet you there. So Antanas won't let us talk to him, we can't get through, but he will continue to sit with his hand on the globe and looking at Adir's hand, the hand of God in the distance. That's why these are the hand of God mountains, because that's the hand of God. But back to another loading screen. So the planetarium is the gate that we passed on the way up, and now the gate will be open so we can go rumble. I'm there's definitely some DLC items that are showing up in these hints that I don't have access to, so it's always mildly vexing. Inner chambers. But down the stairs we go. Or this spiral carrier. Spiral staircase enjoyment. Running around, watching the camera fly. But here we are in the planetarium. And there's a couple of chests here that we can't open. But there's actually enemies in here, so could be aware of that. There's a warden up there. And an archer down here that we want to deal with quickly. Or the big dude comes and bites in the ass. No, we're good out. Alright, since I have Gargoyle and Hawk, I can pretty much just sit here and spam. And so now these guys can be defeated by the dreaded R1 spam. And there's a very important chest right here, at least for rogues. We get Harmony, and there's there's not a ton to say about Harmony, except that it's the best shield in the game by far. And it's also maybe the best looking shield in the game. But it's it's three sockets, which is unique to, to this shield. And it has good defense and everything and good poise to begin with, but you can stick three flawless luck runes in it and then it has more stability than almost every other shield in the game. So it's it's just insane, it's one of the main reasons why to play the rogue. Switch back here, we'll deal with that in a little bit. And we got a, a few more enemies to deal with before that. Oh, I thought there was a fast guy out here, there might still be one. There it is, okay. Come on, fast guy. And you can see Garland and Hawk is doing a lot of work, even though I don't... Like, I don't have to worry about timing or anything with this weapon. I can just slap people in the face with it. There are no single wield uh, methods to, to do combo attacks, anyway. And we get the Dimensions Armor, which I will put on for now. The uh, the helmet is probably the best, one of the best helmets in the game, but the rest of it is not particularly amazing. Let's see how that looks. It has a nice golden cape, that's so pretty cool again. But uh, sort of like a, a golden rogue outfit, I suppose. And... These guys are still very dangerous, so fair warning, need to pay attention. Okay, he did, uh... You see how he's glittering with lightning right now? That means any attack that I hit him with will reflect all of the damage to me, so I want to be careful about that. Fortunately, we got this guy to occupy our time a little bit. 
I would just want to wait for that to fade, which I think it's gone. And I would just slap him in the face until he explodes. And we actually got out of this thing, surprisingly. You can see our roll is a little bit slower, that's because this armor is actually pretty heavy, even though it's light armor, and the hot blood armor is not heavy at all, so... I can't remember where the, the key for this chest is, but it's probably much later in the game. Or I already missed it. The, the chest keys are very confusing. Because they all have, like, almost the same name, and it's hard to determine which one goes where. Let's, uh, let's stick a prayer on the switch. This one is not possible to do. Just by sprinting, you have to have to use prayer to get to it. And in we are, or we we were successful. And in this chest is the blessing armor, which has uh, these gloves, which are really insane. Well, not only do they have more armor than all of the other gloves, including the heavy armor gloves that we just picked up recently, but they also have a socket, so they're way less. <laughs> they have more armor. And they have a socket, so these are really, really good gloves. One of the best pairs in the game, and it's something I'm going to wind up using. I'm also going to use the uh, cold blood boots because they have a socket as well, so they're much better than the dimensions boots. But I think I still have the slow roll or the medium roll. You still sprint around reasonably quick. But let's hope we don't die to this guy. That would be very inglorious. Okay. I was worried that would hit me. There was a decent chance that it would. But maybe I should just be blocking so that doesn't happen. Yeah, so that would have killed me, but I was blocking, so... That saves the day, once again. I think he's in two hand state now, so we just attack him. There we go. Well done, Harkin. Antanas is here, and he wants to speak to you. Harkin, Kaslo tells me you've been victorious against the Rogar Lords. It is a feat my own men have not managed. They don't die easily. Tell me how you do it. It requires patience. This war has been waged for far too long at far too great a cost. My people are suffering. I cannot protect them as long as I'm trapped in this godforsaken place. Why are the Rogar attacking in the first place? A deer intends to destroy me. I represent everything he fears. What could a god fear? I pull demons from the hearts of men, Harkin. I undo a deer's work right before his eyes. This awoke his fury. And now he's returned. Antanus has learned how to separate evil spirits from men. He can free them from their dark side. This angers a deer. You can see how cruel he really is. If Adir is victorious, we will all live under his rule. I am the people's guardian. I am the only thing standing between them and Adir. And I will fight this battle until I no longer draw breath. The tide has turned in our favor. Battles have been won, but the war yet wages, Harkin. We should move you to a safer location. No, Harkin. Antanus is the one the Rogar seek. They will hunt him down no matter where he goes. But we have a plan. One that will bring the battle directly to our true enemy. You mean the Rogar? No, Harkin. I mean the God. It's not every day I get to kill a God. Indeed. How am I supposed to do that? You must return to the Rogar realm. Once there, Kill the remaining Rogar lords. Once they are gone, Adir will have no choice but to enter the fight himself. And when he does, you finish him. Why has Adir held back? He's a god. 
His lords have been his proxies in this war. Once you've destroyed them, a deer will have no choice but to step onto the battlefield. In that moment, run your blade through his foul heart and end his existence. I understand. Not all of the lords are in the temple, Harkin. Some of them might be staying closer to the god. You will need this to access the heart of the Rogar realm, the Chamber of Lies. Your gauntlet will be able to open the path inside the Chamber of Lies, if you allow me to prepare it. Luck in battle, Harkin. If we meet again, it will be to celebrate your victory. Harkin, before you go... Yes? There's something strange going on here. I don't know what exactly, but I intend to find out. So there we have our talk with Entez, who actually has a pretty good voice acting, uh, a rarity for this game. And let's see what the most Kessel wants. Task still lies ahead of you, but did you find out something? I could use some help. Here, this might be useful. Nothing as of yet. These savage Rogar have ruined my planetarium. Priceless books destroyed, and my device is in pieces. Without them, I can't use it fully. So we can infer that the explosion caused this hole in the window earlier, and damaged the spinning twirly thing. Welcome back, Harkin. Excuse the disturbance. I'll wait for you to return. Uh, nothing nothing else doing here. We'll be back to, to talk some more. Uh, I believe we're in the clear here. Yeah, so. Now that we've done all that, we can run up here and I believe there'll be a monk. Thank you again for getting me out of that cell instead of that liar. And there's... The guy we helped earlier? My but. brother, Simon, has been missing. Here's you, another quest. You are Harkin, right? They say you yep. fear no man. It's good to meet you. My name is Matthew. My brother, Simon, has been missing. Uh, this guy bears a striking resemblance to the, the armless monk that we saw earlier. It's not my problem. Once a bastard, always a bastard. Whoops, didn't mean to do Did that. Did you find my brother? No. <laughs> I will look for him. Well, it's okay. We didn't lose the quest because I said that. <laughs> What's a bastard? Always a bastard. That's pretty funny. Uh, into more dialogue here. So it's true. Antanas is sending you back to the demon realm. Why do you care? Some traitorous men under my command fled through the passageway. If you find them on the other side, kill them with extreme prejudice. Their squad has a unique arm tattoo. That'd be the good proof to me that these bastards rot in hell. I have met them already. So, they're dead. They were no match for me. Now where is my reward? Reward? Come on. Bring me the evidence first, then we can talk. So you have to bring him a certain number of tattoos for the captain to not pitch at you, but we're probably not going to do that quest, so no worries. But if you're wondering what the other outcome of the quest with the the guys in the Rogar realm is, it's to, to kill them or what, let them die. And here's yet more death luck, of course. We lost you! What's a convict doing there, roaming free? You must be new here. We just arrived. We saw the beacon and came to help. All two of you. Damn beacon. If we had ignored it, our men would still be alive. So I did do the beacon quest and made a video that the audio was shitty for it, so I'll probably have to redo that in uh, in like a, a few weeks or something and put that up. But that's what that quest leads into. But. That's going to do it for this episode, sorry I didn't talk much, but lots of dialogue. And we're going to open this next time with a gauntlet, that's what uh, Antanas was talking about. And we'll see what lies beyond this giant looming door, what could it be? Who knows?
but I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed it.